I'm back and welcome to Phineas's three month update. What a humongous month this last month has been. So if you like the sound of this video, stay tuned. Please give it a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell to get notified when I upload next. Let's get into the month that was. month seemed to be bigger than the last two months and I think that's because he went through two wonder weeks so not one but two and when they are going through a wonder week or a growth spurt it is really hard so Phineas became really fussy he decided that sleep was for the week and he wanted to party all night long. He decided to cluster feed a lot, which was really hard for me sensorily. I get overwhelmed and I get quite agitated and grumpy because of the tactileness of it all. So that was pretty challenging. And things were just really hard for us. We thought we were in a groove and then the first Wonder Week hit us and that was really challenging. We had a bit of a gap and then this last one has been extremely hard as well. But there's a silver lining when it comes to these growth spurts and that is the fact that Finn has learned to do so much in this last month. He's been able to roll over, so at 10 weeks, he rolled from his tummy to his back, which was really exciting. We thought it was a fluke to start off with, but now every time I go to do tummy time with him, he just flips over, which is making tummy time increasingly hard to do, but I figured that's fine. I'm now trying to encourage him to go the other way. This though does bring me a bit of concern because right now I can leave him on his back and I know that he's not gonna fall off anything by rolling off by accident. So once he does perfect the ability to roll from his back onto his tummy, then I can't really leave him anywhere like I am at the moment. At the moment, I'm pretty confident in putting him somewhere and knowing that he'll be there when I get back, but times are gonna change if he learns to roll in the reverse order. This last month, Finn has also become extremely personable, which is so lovely because when they are in that newborn phase of just eating, sleeping, and pooping, it's really hard, I believe, to just feel like there's a give and take to the relationship. And obviously, as a mom or a dad, your job is to give them unconditional love, but sometimes it can get pretty hard when you're just constantly giving and they're constantly taking. However, this last month, Finn has learned to smile and he smiles so big and it's super gorgeous. And he's also testing out his vocal range so he'll start to coo for things, he'll have conversations with you, and he's even starting to chuckle with a little gurgle. We think he'll probably get a giggle in the next couple of weeks, but it's just so cute to see the cheeky little boy that he's becoming. Zoe has nicknamed him Finny Cheeky Little Monkey. So it's great that with his personality starting to come out that his sisters are able to bond with him as well and it's just nice to see what this next phase of Finn's life is like and how he's starting to become a member of our family which is really exciting. Finn is really different from the other girls and I think it honestly just comes to the fact that he's a third born child. With the girls, I was really regimental about their sleep routine. It needed to be done and we did that sleep book like it was a golden rule and it would never be broken. And it really controlled my life and I found freedom in it because our girls were great sleepers, but at the same time, I felt a little bit constricted to go out and about because of it. With Phineas being the third child, it means that he's had to learn to sleep on the go because his morning sleep would always during kindy drop off. But now that kindy has finished for the year, he is able to sleep at home. And today's his first sleep at home and he slept for a solid two hours. So I know that as much as he's able to sleep out and about, he still does get a good sleep here at home in his cradle. 
He's getting really good at self settling and linking his sleep cycles through. He does cry for a little bit, but he's a bit of a hand sucker. So with Phineas being his age, we have put him in the love to dream sleep suit. So his hands are up. He does suck from side to side. With being the third child in that suit, the hand pockets are starting to get a bit thin. So I think next time around with bub number four, we're probably gonna have to get new suits because that's the problem. They get overused that the fabric does become thin and I am having to wash them pretty frequently just because they get pretty stinky with him spitting up and sucking on them all the time, but that's no big deal. When Phineas isn't in a wonder week, he does really good nighttime sleeps. He was going down between 7 and 7.30 and waking up for his first feed around 3.34. And because he was having such a long sleep, I would catch milk only at that feed because otherwise I would leak and I didn't want to miss an opportunity to catch so that I could go out for a date or when we were in Wonder Weeks that I could have a break if I was being too overwhelmed with my senses for touch. When he is in a wonder week, however, he will comfort feed every three hours or even less. I have found personally with breastfeeding, if I sit up and give him a proper feed, even though sometimes I am so exhausted, he will go back into his cradle and do his two hour block of sleep. If I feed him in bed, just side feeding him, then uh, yeah, I can fall asleep, but I don't sleep as well and then Finn gets accustomed to using me like a dummy and I don't want him to get used to using me like a dummy. I really do love being a place of comfort and a place for food for him, but I don't want him to be on me all the time. Which means that this month I really have experimented on getting up to feed versus sleeping and feeding and I have found for me and Finn personally that getting up for a designated feed is more beneficial in the long run to getting a block of sleep and a decent block of sleep for me throughout the night. In regards to Finny Bear's clothes, he is in three zeros. However, they are getting a little bit tight. We had to go to the doctors yesterday and I got him measured and he's weighing 6.5 kilograms, which is really exciting. It's roughly 14 pounds. So of course those clothes are gonna get slightly smaller because they are zero to three in the age range. And I'm pretty sure the maximum weight for those might be six kilos. I'll have to check his tag. So I'm really looking forward to moving him into the next clothing size. I feel like between five zeros and zero, our kids smash through them because they just become so big and so chunky. And even the GP yesterday loved how chunky and chubby Finny Bear was and really enjoyed seeing such a healthy, happy baby. But the reason why we were there is Finn has actually had conjunctivitis this last month. It's been on and off, but it has gotten to a point where combined with that and him getting constipated and then having green stools, I thought it would be best for him to just get a checkout, which has resulted in Finn going on his first round of antibiotics for his eyes. It is definitely making a difference. We've been on the antibiotics for two days. It's three days in total, and he is getting less and less conjunctivitis, which is really good. The doctor didn't seem too concerned with him having green stools, so I'll keep an eye on that. And if my mother's intuition starts to get a little bit panicked about it, then I'll go back and get it checked out again. I've never had a child give green stools before. I have had a child with constipation, that was Amira, and we used flaxseed oil to get her regulated. But comment down below if your child has had green stools and what you found to be the reason or cause and how you might have adjusted and helped your kid out because I am slightly concerned about it. Over this past month, I feel that I have slowly gotten into the rhythm of life of having three kids. However, all of that changed on Friday when Amira graduated from kindy. I now have three of them at home by myself. And I know a lot of people are like, well, they're your kids. It's what you signed up for. And yes, all of that is completely true, but it's still something that I am adjusting to because in that first couple of weeks when Finn was first born and Amira was home, Michael was on paternity leave. Then when Michael went back to work, it just coincided with the start of term four and so Amira went back to kindy. So this is the first time where I do have all three of them. So now I'm finding a new rhythm of life of having a newborn, a toddler and a four and a half year old. But overall, now that Finny Bear is starting to become the little man that God is creating him to be, it's nice to see how his puzzle piece fits into our family and how the kids are starting to bond with him a bit more. 
He's being more interactive with Michael, which is great. And he's being interactive with me and I'm not just a source of food for him, which is so lovely. But this month has honestly been the biggest, hardest month, but I am so glad to be saying goodbye to that fourth trimester and having a newborn and moving into the next season where all the really cool things are gonna to start to happen with him crawling and having his first foods and first words and even potentially walking. It's going to fly by, but I am so glad to be documenting it. Mick and I watched his coming home video just the other night because we cannot believe that three months has gone by so quickly. Like we honestly feel like with the third child, it is just rolling on through like a snowball and it's getting faster and faster but we are trying to make the most of each moment we love documenting it and looking back on it even though the days can be hard it's really great now that we have a mirror to see that all of that hard work can pay off and things do get better if you've enjoyed watching Finn's three month update please give this video a big thumbs up because it really does support my channel don't forget to hit subscribe and tap the bell if you want to come along on the adventure that we have here in the Rashidi household because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book we only have each other and I'll see you in tomorrow night's video